Hello and welcome to this video today on Keysight BenchView software. Today we're going to take a look at the DAC application and some of the settings that we can make in here uh, that will affect uh, how quickly we can scan through our channels and collect data. So what we have here today is a 34972A connected with one 34901A multiplexer installed. Uh, I've gone ahead and set up four channels uh, one with a thermocouple, one with DC voltage, and a couple of making two wire ohms measurements. All of the other settings are at their defaults. So I've set up our data logging uh, to start immediately when I press the button. And our scan interval, I'm going to go ahead and set that to the minimum, which tells BenchView to scan uh, as quickly as possible given the settings that we use here. Now we have the option of calling out some value uh, in hours, minutes, seconds, uh, even milliseconds. Uh, when you do that, however, that doesn't necessarily mean if you call out 100 milliseconds that the instrument is capable of running through your scan list in 100 milliseconds. There are several factors uh, involved here. Uh, the speed of your uh, multiplexer switching, as well as all of the settings that we use for the actual measurements here. So what I've done down here, uh, we're going to tell the BenchView software to stop data logging after 10 scans or 10 times through our scan list of four channels. So if I come over here to my graphics setup, and I've already added uh, all four channels, and I go ahead and hit the start button, I can hear my switches going along, and we've run through and collected uh, 40 data points, 10 on each channel. I'm going to go ahead and hit the auto scale button here so we can take a closer look at this. And we can see that given the default settings, uh, it takes us somewhere between 1.5 and 2 seconds uh, to collect all of that data. So let's go back and look at the settings that we've chosen here. Uh, before we can make any changes, uh, BenchLink is just warning us that it's going to clear the data, and that's okay. So if we look at some of these settings here for our, our measurement, uh, auto range is uh, the setting used by default, but you can choose a fixed setting. When we do that, uh, it does have a slight increase in, in time, but really the biggest increase in speed or decrease in speed would be a change to your resolution. If we go to six and a half digits of resolution, the instrument, the DMM in the 34972, is going to integrate for a longer period of time, slowing down the measurement, slowing down our scan rate. So in this case, uh, I'm going to choose four and a half digits. If we look in the more column, there are some additional settings we can make here. Uh, some of these will have a slight impact on time, uh, but it will not be really noticeable. If we look at our number of power line cycles, it's already at the minimum because I chose four and a half digits. Uh, the offset compensation is already off, and our channel delay is set to auto. If we were to look at that, the actual time, it's only one millisecond, so it's pretty short already. However, if you were trying to optimize this for speed, you would want to go ahead and set this to zero, as well as turning off the auto range. The same can be said for the other channels here. So we'll go ahead and set that to four and a half digits. Uh, we'll leave the channel delay at auto for right now. Uh, when it comes to temperature, some of the changes that we can make, again, is to our resolution our number of power line cycles. And here the default is 1 for a thermocouple. We'll go ahead and change that to 0.02. If we look at our channel delay, again, this is already a small value, or in this case, 0. And our reference junction, uh, that's not going to impact our speed. And moving down to uh, our final DC voltage measurement, I'll make the same settings there. Uh, I don't have an AC voltage set up right now, but some of the things that we can change, again, the auto range, uh, resolution is always six and a half digits for an AC voltage measurement, but in the more column, you can choose the filter setting, which greatly impacts the measurement speed, as well as a channel delay. 
and notice that channel delay on an AC voltage measurement is uh, by default set at one second here. So some gains could certainly be found here in this more section by changing the filter and the settling delay. Each one of these values that I'm discussing, uh, you can find more information on exactly what they do and the impact they have on your measurement by looking in the manual. So having changed our four channels and we've dropped the resolution, uh, made a couple of settings changes here. If we now go back and run our data collection again, Okay, so we've already finished our measurements. If I hit the auto scale, now that you, now you can see that rather than taking uh, between one and a half and two seconds, uh, we finished uh, between a half a second and one second. So you can see just by changing uh, a few settings, you can greatly impact what this minimum scan interval can be. Thanks for watching, and I hope this was helpful.